Not only does Auto Layout provide developers with the ability to properly place and size their own user interface elements on the screen, it can also provide important information to the underlying operating system that controls the rendering and behavior of elements, such as UI table view cells. These cells are not directly placed in the table by the developer. Instead, the developer provides information about the content in each cell via the table view delegate methods. To that end, let's see what helpful tips we can give the OS that will enable our table view cells to grow and shrink as the content changes. We'll start with an example project that displays a list of auteurs, directors that are the driving force behind their films. Before we begin, let's take a peek at how the app looks to start with. As you can see, the rows contain a single line of text that falls off the edge of the screen. The cells don't know how to resize themselves. Let's fix that by making a custom UI table view cell. We've made a new Cocoa Touch class called Autour Table View Cell, declared it a subclass of UI Table View Cell, and did not choose to generate a zib. The language is, of course, Swift. We don't need the two auto-generated methods, so I've removed those. In their place, I've added in an IB outlet to represent the auteur's bio that will display in the table cell. In the storyboard, set the type for the auteur table view cell to auteur table view cell by using the identity inspector. Now add the UI label to go with that outlet. Drop a UI label into the Otor table view cell on the storyboard, set the text to bio, and set the number of lines to zero. This is a very important step. When you set the number of lines to zero, it is a tip to the rendering system to let this label grow based on how much text is within the label. If you use something other than zero, truncation will occur since it will max out at that number of lines. Don't forget to connect the outlet in your source code to the UI label in the storyboard. The most important step to get the cell to grow is to make sure that the label has the proper constraints to the cell. Use the pin button at the bottom of the storyboard to establish constraints all around the label. Put in zero for the top and bottom constraints, and 8 for the leading and trailing constraints. This will ensure that regardless of how big or small the cell may be, the top and bottom will always be 0 points away from the margin, and the leading and trailing edges will be 8 points away from that margin. Okay, let's run this in the simulator and see what happens. Well, that still doesn't look right, and in fact, it looks a little worse. This is an indicator that just setting up the cell isn't enough. We need to configure the table view as well, which we'll do in the next episode.